Welcome to our Symphony Deep Dive. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many developers encounter when working with form handling and return type hinting in doctrine entities. Our viewer has a question about how to manage return type hints in their Symphony entity methods, specifically when creating a new user. Let's break it down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's address the issue with return type hinting in Symphony Entity Methods. When you create a new user instance, the username property is null, which conflicts with the string return type hint. One potential solution is to initialize the username property with an empty string. This way, it satisfies the return type hinting requirement. However, initializing with an empty string may not be ideal if you want to enforce that the username cannot be blank. This could lead to validation errors later. Another option is to unmap the username field from the Symphony form. This way, the form won't attempt to bind the null value to the username property. Lastly, you could implement a custom form type or use a transformer to handle the username input more gracefully, ensuring it meets your validation criteria. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. If you're using PHP 7.0, you can't use nullable return types. So stick with the first option. But if you're on PHP 7.1 or higher, you can use nullable return type declarations. And that's it guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until your next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one.